Well, hello. My name is Jillian. Thanks for coming to my channel. I'm a tripped out artist chick, musician, and a fashionista on 40 acres of desert paradise living in an Airstream trailer. That's right. See, I used to be an artist in San Francisco with a condo and a studio and a bunch of mini skirts and cool hats and tambourine smashing for a couple bands. But now I'm out here in paradise exploring, hiking, taking in all that my beautiful world has to offer. It's pretty awesome. I feel a lot better now, and I really like happy hour. No, I mean, I really, really like happy hour. I like dancing, and I like telling you all about my weird, trippy brain and uh, the beautiful world that I am now residing in. Of course, we do it all over here in cute outfits and doing things that we suck at and trying to explain the weird shenanigans of awkward living in a kind of a funny way. Well, we, we all really enjoy it. Hope you guys do too. Come along for the ride. Oh, well, hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name's Jillian. I'm a crazy psychedelic artist, musician, lover of fine threads, as you can see. And I live off grid in the desert on 40 acres. You all might remember me as the weird artist chick who was spouting all kinds of non-duality enlightenment crap. Well, not much has changed. I'm still an artist, but a lot has changed because well, this ain't the city. This ain't San Francisco. Look, I spent 10 years in the city, losing my religion, figuring out about non-duality, getting extraordinarily lost just so I could find something, which was nothing. Starting an awesome art career, making stuff I'm super proud of, joining a couple bands, being the token tambourine shaking skirt chick. Then the pandemic happened and uh, my husband and I went, you know, we should just go live on that 40 acre property we bought a few years back. And that's what we did. We ditched the city life for the high desert. We're completely off grid on 40 acres in the middle of absolutely freaking nowhere. And um, we live in a trailer. <laughs> Now, you wouldn't be alone in thinking, that's a bit much, Jill. That's a little bit, that's a little crazy. And everyone keeps telling me, well, that's so adventurous that you would even consider doing something like that. And everyone has all these questions for me. And so, I'm starting a channel about it. As I'm continuing my journey as an artist in a completely different place. Completely off-grid. This channel is going to become about a couple different things. One off-grid shenanigans. All the stuff that goes wrong, the stuff that goes right, the solutions, the fun, the craziness. Two, it's gonna be about where my art career goes from here. I'm getting a studio built, hopefully soon. I've been so patient, so patient. Once that happens, I'm gonna be going sculptural, so you guys can be in the front row seat. As some of my followers, especially from Instagram, will know, I also got diagnosed with bipolar disorder when I was living in San Francisco really explained a lot for me, actually, and I'm still on that journey. And so part of this channel will also be about how I'm adjusting to a completely different place, what good it's doing to me, mental health topics, personal musings, shooting the shit about new age BS, cause some of it's total garbage, let's be honest. Contemplating life amongst the ancient stuff. Hey including the flies. <laughs> since I haven't had an art studio in about a year, since we started transitioning out here, I have been working on my own music. This channel is also going to be about that. So I'm going to showcase my music in some of the videos. You'll have links to go buy it if you wish. I've been working hard on it out here and it's really fun and it's a completely different realm that uh, I'm just cracking into. So in the absence of being able to make physical art, making the music art. It goes with it. It just, it goes. It matches quite well. You don't say. Well, really? Hmm. I think I like it. I think everyone should go buy a copy. A uh, special thanks to my grandma's vintage talking fur. It's gonna be a regular feature on the channel, obviously. There will be happy hours. There will be segments on desert creatures done in a really ridiculous, goofy manner. There will be tours of the hikes that I take. There will be ooh, tours of my Airstream and a bit windy. Whoa. <laughs> a 
apologies for the interruption. It is outdoors after all. We are also building a house out here. So that's gonna be a huge part of this channel. The weird problems about it, the solutions about it, all the joy of it. Who freaking knew that this would be my life? It's 2021, it's a beautiful year. I'm getting my second dose of the Pfizer tomorrow. So I'm feeling good, yeah. So if you wanna come along on this journey with me, and I know that you do, well, come on, subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you can always know when I upload a bunch of new updates. It's like a vlog, people, but it's gonna be real quite unique and better content than all those other motherfuckers out there, so you better stay tuned. Now, what does it mean to be off grid? Well, I'm glad that you asked because everyone wants to know. Y'all remember the thing when Texas lost all of its power because it had a crazy snowstorm and the power grid was knocked out? Well, that's the grid, okay? That is the grid, the power grid. Towns and stuff and cities have a power grid where you draw your power from. They also have water that automatically comes out of your faucet that everyone takes for granted. And uh, you have toilets that flush into the city sewer. You don't have to worry about your uh, black water. Black water. Oh, black water. You don't gotta worry about where your power comes from. You don't have to worry about what time of the day you can and can't charge your iPhone or your computer or your speaker or anything. <laughs> you don't gotta worry about that because you live in in town. This 40 acres of property, when we bought it, was completely undeveloped. Meaning it was raw nature. Raw nature. <laughs> so a huge part of us being out here is putting in some infrastructure. Internet, I, I missed my finger. Internet, <laughs> solar system, whale for water, uh, and all kinds of other junk. No one picks up your trash here. What do we do with that? How do you get things? The whole process whereby we are coming in with the permission of these lovely beings and putting some stuff in little by little to make it so we can be completely self-sustaining out here except for i'm probably a shit vegetable gardener let's be honest and i'm still gonna go grocery shopping at walmart because that shit's cheap it's not for everyone and i'll tell you why in the coming episodes <laughs> so you have to stay tuned in order to find out more do you see how this works so if whatever the hell I'm doing out here interests you in any type of way, whether it's the art me, the personality me, glowing personality, the threads, the off-grid, the brain, the music, whatever you might be interested in, sticking around for the ride. So thank you kindly for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm an old millennial, so I vape the nicotine now. Since many of you are very curious about my impeccable style, I will give you a quick rundown on my outfit of the day. Formerly white hat from Buffalo Exchange, which I replaced the hat band, added some feathers, and dyed it green because that's fun. Grandmother's, no, great grandmother actually, uh, old think fox. I call it my weasel. Hello there. <laughs> Made this, bought this in Egypt. Alameda Flea Market. Susan Ritter Designs out of New York. That's my wedding ring. Citrine biatches. Cult Sisters. Community Thrift, San Francisco. Lenny the Label. It goes all the way to the floor and has pockets too, love. Buffalo Exchange. Chopped it off because it was a bit too 90s long because we don't do the deep, the, the whatever. It's like a sequin snake. And these shorts are from Home Cooked Karma on Etsy. They make fantastic products. Dog. Family dog, animal rescue. Timberlands. Last me four years before anything broke. Hope you enjoy. Bye.